I've got some singles strategy tips for you today. My coach used to tell me, he'd say, the next ball hit will probably be short. Because he knew, statistically speaking, it's hard for people to keep the ball deep. What do I mean by deep? If you're hitting shots that are landing four or five feet or closer to the baseline, that's a deep shot. Now a short ball is something that lands inside the service line or around the service line. Now if you take a lesson from Roger Federer, okay, he was the best at recognizing a short ball. He would be on top of that short ball like white on rice. Why is that such a good thing to do, to attack a short ball? Because when you take the ball earlier, your opponent has less time. They're struggling to get set to hit their shot. When you come in closer, you're putting pressure on your opponent. They hear your footsteps as you're moving in and they get a little uptight, you're gonna get errors, you're gonna get uh, you know, passing shots that are out. Um, so it's, it's crucial that you learn to be aggressive if you wanna be a good singles player. Take the ball early. When you see a short ball, move in, hit it deep. And that leads me to my, uh, by the way, if you saw Maxime Cressy, from California, an American, I think he's around 24, 25 years old. What a player. He lost to Medvedev, I think, in the quarters in four close sets. But I love the way the guy plays. He just keeps moving forward. Every chance he gets, he's moving in on a short ball. Puts pressure on your opponent. They have less time to get ready. So it's, it's very key. Now that leads me to my second point. And this is the biggest mistake that I see on the ATP tour. Even really fast players like Gail Monfils, they approach cross court, which is not a good idea. I remember Roddick used to do it, Monfils. I've seen all the top players do it. They, approach cross court and you know maybe they're thinking well I'm going to the guy's backhand but you have to remember the quickest way to pass somebody the quickest way for your opponent to pass you is down the line and when you approach cross court here's what happens if I'm on this side of the court here okay if I'm on this side of the court and I get a short ball here and I go cross court, okay? I hit that cross court. Let me hit a little deeper. So I go cross court. Now as I come in, I cannot cover the line. I have too far to go. Like I said, even a player like Monfils, he cannot get over here to cover that line quick enough. So in my opinion, and even on the tour because I've seen this happen so often. Go down the line on the approach. If you hit a good approach, if you can hit a nice slice, skidding, low skidding shot, you've got a good chance of winning the point, okay? Probably better than 50, 50%, all right, chance. So yeah, I've seen that happen so many times. The players, you know, they're on this side of the court here, let's say, and they go to, they hit a top spin forehand, you know, cross court. They're coming in. They try, they try to get here, but you can't, you can't get there in time. I don't care how fast you are <laughs> because <clears throat> the ball will get by the, uh, the player moving in 20% faster. It'll get by when they go straight down the line. The shortest distance between two points is a straight line. So when you hit that ball cross court, they're going straight down the line. 
very difficult. So when you approach, approach up the line and you're going to be better off with that. I'll show you a few points uh, played out just to give, the, uh, give you the idea of what I'm talking about. Okay, let's take a look in slow motion. I spot the short ball. I hit a slice approach up the middle. The ball skids and stays low. Forces my opponent to have to hit up. He gives me an easy volley, which I block to the corner. Now I'm shading the line. I want to cover that line. Now, when I see my opponent shot, I realized he hit it too high and too hard and I let it go. Next one here, again, short ball. I attack straight ahead. Now as I come in, my opponent goes behind me slightly. I hit another bunt volley, force my opponent to come up and dig the ball out. Again, that's what you want sometimes is a low skidding shot to make your opponent hit up and he gives me an easy volley. Okay, here is what you don't want to do. Approach cross court. Now notice, I take this backhand and go cross court, and my opponent blows the ball by me before I have time to get there. And again, I take this short ball <clears throat> and go cross court, and again, my opponent, I'm getting trying to get to that volley position, but it's too late. There's no way I can get that. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Remember, pressure, be aggressive. The next ball hit will probably be short. Are you ready, like Federer, to pounce on that, take it early, put pressure on your opponent? That's what you want to do. Come to the net, finish it off. And when you approach, you're better off going up the line than cross court. All the best. Please give me a thumbs up, a like, a subscribe, and to your tennis success. Take care.